So the AI market heats up once again as one of the biggest companies in the world, Amazon, has recently announced their new set of generative AI tools. So you can see right here, it says Amazon announces Bedrock. That is an AI platform that's set to take on the rival OpenAI. Now, make sure you watch this entire video because there's a lot to cover that a lot of people haven't actually thought about when it comes to Amazon's AI system. So you can see right here that the Amazon CEO tweeted, excited about our large language model slash generative AI announcements today, Amazon Web Services is doing what it has done for years and democratizing this technology so that smaller companies can build their stuff more quickly and affordably. And this is honestly really, really good for the industry because it means that smaller companies are going to be able to build their applications using Amazon Web Services which means that the average person like you and me, when it comes to accessing these generative AI tools, we're going to be able to access them at a much faster rate and at a much cheaper rate because it's going to be on Amazon's web services. Now, if you're wondering who this new CEO is, this is actually the CEO of Amazon, not Jeff Bezos, because Jeff Bezos actually stepped down in 2021 and he sits on the board. He's a chairman. So essentially what we have now is someone who's definitely heavily invested in AI and he did have a lot to say about this. They also had a lot to say about another secret tool which he released today, which I'll get into more after I show you guys this quick clip. Many years, and most companies don't want to go through that. And so what they want to do is they want to work off of a foundational model that's big and great already and then have the ability to customize it for their own purposes. And that's what Bedrock is, which we announced today, which is It'll give you access to um, large language models from Anthropic, from Stability AI, from AI21. And so, like I said, this is something that people are not really considering. He just discussed two major companies that are essentially competitors to ChatGPT, and he talks about how he's going to be integrating them with Amazon's services. So let's take a look at what was actually released today and what you can use today and for the future of AI for Amazon. Now, honestly, guys, this is one of the biggest announcements ever because this is something that people haven't even realized, okay? And when I break it down for you, why Amazon Bedrock is truly insane, you're gonna be like, okay, this was a giant leap in AI software and AI services. So when you come to the webpage, this is the first thing you're going to be greeted with. This is Amazon Bedrock. Now, when you scroll down, it shows you some of the use cases you can get started with quickly. It says text generation. It says you've got chatbots. It says text summarization. It's got, obviously, you've got image generation. Of course, you have personalization. Now. The next part, what I'm about to show you is why this is truly crazy, okay? So take a look at this. So here you can see it says choice of foundation models from a leading AI startups and Amazon. So we have four different ones. Now, this is why I say this is good because when you understand that Amazon Web Services is used by literally millions of companies around the world and millions of people around the world on the back end and you don't even know, it just means it's going to power the entire wave of generative AI tools that come to the market. So honestly, this is going to literally power all those new apps that you're going to be seeing. This is what's going to be behind it. Now, why this is so good, okay? And this is why this is really important, why Amazon Bedrock is so good, is because you can see right here that there are two key apps, okay? And one of them I want to really focus on. So the one I want to focus on that you can see right here is called Claude. Now, the reason we want to focus on Claude so much is because this is a really, really interesting chatbot that hasn't gained the popularity that ChatGPT has. And I'm not sure why. I mean, of course, ChatGPT is the best at the moment, but you have to understand exactly where they're headed with Claude. So for example, take a look at this. It says Google invests in $300 million to compete with ChatGPT by Anthropic. Now, Anthropic is essentially a company which was started by people who left OpenAI. And OpenAI, of course, are the people who started ChatGPT. So Google has invested in a ChatGPT competitor slash rival. Now, why this rival is insane, because take a look at this next post. So recently, Anthropic has actually launched a five billion four year plan to take on OpenAI slash GPT-4. Essentially, they want to just destroy GPT-4 in terms of competition. And what they want to do is build a platform that is, wait for it, 10 times more powerful than ChatGPT, guys. And it's going to require billions in spending over the next 18 months. So think about it like this, right? Amazon has recently announced their web services, which is going to be having a tool which in the next 18 months could be 10 times more powerful than ChatGPT. And remember, these things move very, very quickly. And you also have to remember that now that there's going to be a large competitor to ChatGPT, we know that this puts pressure on ChatGPT to increase their development speed, which some say is going to be even quicker than we think. So now there's going to be that battle between two large chatbots that's going to be competing for the number one spot, 
which just means that this developmental race is going to be going much faster than we had initially thought, especially since Google and many others are investing billions into ChatGPT's competitor. Now, what's also interesting about Amazon's Bedrock is they are also focusing on a stable diffusion by stability.ai, where they generate unique, realistic, high quality images, logos, and designs. Now, like I said, imagine this being available to many different small companies that are going to be able to use these and fine tune them in any special way that they want for particular purposes. This means that we're going to see a wave of new AI apps and new AI tools flooding the market more than we've already seen before. Now, there was another tool that they also did release, which the CEO actually just talks about here quickly. Large language models, ChatGPT is right. an example of that. What we announced today is something called Code Whisperer, which is for developers. And so if you're writing code, instead of having to write everything and do all the art and the science yourself, you can, in a natural language way, just say what you want to do and Code Whisperer will generate the code for you. And that will substantially change developers' productivity. That's right, they announced Code Whisperer. Take a look at this. So you can see right here that it says Amazon Code Whisperer. Build applications faster and more securely with your AI coding companion. So it says that Code Whisperer is trained on billions of lines of code and can suggest many different suggestions, suggesting from real-time functions and simply improving your existing code. So this is definitely really interesting because you have to understand that one of the key features of ChatGPT that many people were raving about was the fact that ChatGPT can write effective code. So is this going to disrupt ChatGPT's usage? I guess we're going to have to see. Uh, they also talk about it being a giant leap in developer productivity with it making you 57% faster at your original tasks and it means you're 27% more likely to succeed. Now, you can also see right here, it says code with confidence, so it can simply just flag things up or resemble open source training data, which is really, really good. It's also got some very, very nice security measures, which I'm not even sure ChatGPT does integrate. So when you have a dedicated application like this, I'm pretty sure that if this is fine tuned, which it seems like it is, people are going to be using this over something like ChatGPT, which seems to be more on the casual side. Now, one thing that I do want to show you all is that Amazon has actually been releasing robots and AI software for quite some time. Everybody knows that Amazon has recently released this robot that you're seeing on screen, which is Astro. And essentially, this is a robot which I'm not sure many people know about because it's quite small and it's only for home security but this is a robot that is powered by amazon's famous alexa which i'm pretty sure most of you do know about now here's the big question that i want to ask everybody in the comment section and the wider ai community are we going to see in the future which i think we are likely to amazon combine the new ai robots that they are creating such as the amazon echo dot and this amazon robot that roams around your house with the new ai tools like Claude. So that is going to be something that is going to be very interesting to see in the next couple of months because I do believe that with the AI race heating up, we're likely to see the combination of these technologies. And I'm pretty sure that the tools being released, such as Claude and ChatGPT, are far more effective than Amazon's original Alexa, especially since we now know that multimodal features are integrated into these new chatbots. So it's going to be interesting to see if these robots are going to be roaming around your house and this is going to become the new normal. Now, if you're wondering just how powerful Amazon's model Claude is that they're going to be using, the ChatGPT rival, which I will make an entire video on, you can see right here that this is Claude Instant. And essentially, if you want access to this, just go to po.com, sign up, and you'll gain instant access to Claude Plus and Claude Instant, essentially two models. Whereas Claude Instant is the normal model and Claude Plus is the more powerful model. So here you can see I asked Claude some previous tasks because I wanted to see exactly how it performs in its chatbot capabilities and I asked it to change a car tire and it did that pretty well. I asked it to write a job description for a YouTube channel video editor for AI related content and you can see that it managed to write this in a very very decent manner and I asked them to make another job post and it also did it pretty pretty well. I mean you can see right here that this is how it is compared to ChatGPT. You can be the judge of that but of course this is Claude Plus which is their better model that they are working on and you can see that this one is definitely far better than Claude Instant. So the AI race is heating up and honestly guys I think this is going to be very interesting to see where these AI tools are literally just a year from now. Maybe we're going to have something 10 times more powerful than ChatGPT roaming around rounds are home powered with Amazon or maybe Amazon is just focused on the back end with Amazon cloud services. It's going to be interesting to see exactly which direction they take this in.